Prague and we love butcher shops. And Prague, John, butcher shops. Spot on about Prague, Tina, but yes, butcher shops, because did you know that in the outskirts of Prague is actually a butcher shop which has got a bar? Really? Okay. Let's, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Uh, Tina, I don't know how to say it, but it's Biek, Biek Boo. Biek Boo. Do you want to try that again? I, I could, but it, I probably will stuff it up. Okay. And let's, behind, let's us, carry on behind us is the uh, is the counter for the uh, the beef and all the meat, not just beef. Um, Are you hungry? Uh, I'm a little bit peckish. Uh, un unfortunately, it's about 6 p.m. at night, and they've already uh, taken it away. So, so the counter shop is a bit bare. Otherwise, we can't we would have seen it all. Um, so we can't really uh, purchase anything, and unfortunately, we can't see anything. But just over there is the bar. Indeed, it's a quite a unique combination. Unique, of the each other. It is so unique. It's like growing a third ear or a third nipple. It is Don't that try unique. this at home. It is that unique. And you, you've been to this this pub before, right? So, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, pub tin, pub or butcher shop? Oh, butcher shop. It's quite confusing. But maybe you went to both. Oh, yeah. yeah, we quite often go here for to take uh, to have a takeaway. I must say, it's delicious. Okay. <laughs> so much is it the kind of place you come, buy your sausages and your mincemeat, and then go and have a beer? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it uh, is. I, I would recommend. It. <laughs> <laughs> we very often buy meat right here. It's okay. Always yeah. very good quality. And a quick cold beer. A quick cold beer. <laughs> <laughs> Time for Tin and Tells with Tin and O. Sorensen. Tin and, uh, I don't know whether you've ever seen anything like this, and I'm tipping you haven't. A butcher shop with a bar. This is fantastic. A butcher shop with a bar. To be honest, John, no, you're right. I've never seen this in, in all my years of visiting pubs and bars. Uh, and and this is definitely a first. Mm, and that's a lot of bars and pubs. Uh, but this is why we come here because it's unique and it's lovely, and I think it's very interesting. Hey, no, please, please, please. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh my god. Oh. Terrible. That's terrible. Yeah, very that's terrible. It's not. Thank you. Thank you much. Give us the give us the lowdown on the prices. Prices are not bad. Um, I would say maybe for this area where we are, Mondrani, uh, it's a little bit expensive. It's on the outskirts of. Yeah, it's on the center. Oh, it's it's, quite, Prague, it's yeah. quite a, a good bit out, as, as, as Tomas finally pointed out earlier. wasn't even part of Prague earlier, um, like before. In, yeah, in the 90s. So uh, I would say it was, it's like for, for Pilsers, like 54, for Gambrinus is 50 odds. 48. 48 for Gambrinus? Yeah. For 12, so, number 12. Yeah, I, I, I think I think it could be cheaper, but as I said, it's just quite reasonable. So three, three out of five. Three out of five. That's not bad. I mean, if you're coming from Prague to here, you look at the prices, you probably go, yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But if you normally would go to uh, one exactly. of these one of these outer ring areas, it's it's on the expensive side. But I'm not too upset by the prices at all. No. Now, Tim, how much is a dozen sausages? Oh, you have to remind me, John. I can't remember. I really can't remember. All right, let, let's go to uh, service. Yeah. Service, yeah, great. Uh, no complaints here. The lady was was bloody you, fantastic. You arrived a little bit earlier than I did, and she was uh, basically at the table straight away. She was good, very good. So, again, Spoke a bit of English, pretty good. English as well. Uh, if you if you want, we try to practice our Czech. Um, I don't know to what to what degree we are successful, but uh, you we, failed uh, miserably, Tina. But, yeah, but, well, but at least you tried, sir. Yeah, at, at least you tried. tried. Uh, um, but yeah, so it was, it was pretty good overall. Four, four out of five. Bloody good, bloody good. Four out of five. Now uh, let's just go right now to ambiance. Ambiance. A butcher shop, Tina. And who goes to a butcher shop for ambiance? Well, you would think no one, but actually Friday night it's like uh, what uh, six, six, seven, seven. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock seven now. And pretty much most of the tables are full. Uh, yeah, it's very busy outside. I, w I wouldn't say it's going to get like hugely kind of uh, I'd say out the door busy, but um, it's it's quiet inside. We've got several tables inside, it's, but outside's quite busy. Out, outside is nice weather, we must say as well. Yeah. Again. Um, 
Yeah, if, if you came now and you want to sit outside, it would be hard to get a table, to be honest. I think uh, everything everything is pretty much booked up outside. I'll what do you give inside. it to? I'll give it a three and a half. Uh, it's a good score, sir. Damn good score. Yeah, for, for you, it's a good score. Um, shall we have a barbecue? Let's go have a barbecue, you know? Alright, let's make, do it. Make the most of nice weather. Let's make the most of it. Let's do it. Let's go.